Hi everyone, this is Brent from Studio One Expert and in this series of videos we're going to be looking at some of the new and improved features to Studio One version 5. Now undoubtedly one of the biggest updates to version 5 was the addition of the show page. The show page enables artists and musicians alike to be able to perform their music live and this is obviously a really big feature for many people. So in these next four videos I'm going to be taking you through some of the features of the show page and in this first video we're going to be looking at how we can take our song from the song page here to the show page and that's done really easily so let's make a start with how we can actually get our song here into the show page so there's two ways you can do this you can do this the more conventional route of exporting your mix down like you would with any song or you can go song and come down to add show now and we're going to create a new show we're going to call this uh, o2 arena and i'll just give it a rough date for provisional gig Seeing as though the world is going back to normal, if I hit OK, this will take about the same length that it takes to bounce down a song. So I'll set this away and we'll come back when we're in the show page. So here we are on the show page after we've exported our song from the song page. And to many users, this will be a very familiar view as this is essentially a stripped down version of the song page. You still have your mix window at the bottom here. And you still have your browse window with all of your instruments, effects, etc. So it's basically a slightly lighter version of the song page, making it a little bit less CPU intensive, which is what people want to have ease of mind for when they're performing these big live sets. So, as you can see, our song here, Hanging On, has been imported from the song view. But what I could also do is I could just bring it in as a external song that I might have bounced down. So if I get rid of this track here, remove from set list, and I'll remove this player. If I go to player here and I hit back in track, I've got three different options here. I'm just going to title it Hanging On. And what I can do is I'm just going to drag it in here from my desktop. And it's created a set list item on the side here. And you would do the same with following tracks in your performance. So depend on how many set list items you're going to have for, say, it could be a half an hour set or it could be a two hour show. You just put in as many as you really want to on the side here under this track. And it's a really good way of keeping your CPU performance down. As you can see, nothing's literally happening here at all. So if we go back to the play view, you've got two other track Availabilities here. We've got the aux real instrument track and a virtual instrument. So I'm just going to add both in we can do our IO here as well um, I'm going to do non just so that it doesn't have any monitoring issues. So if we do real instrument, I'm going to call this guitar And if we do virtual instrument, I'm going to call this uh, Mai Tai. So I'm going to have a synth track Now if we go on to our guitar track here, I could either open up the mix window and I could just do the traditional method of typing in here or going on my guitar channel and find an effects chain or I could come over to instruments and I could search for presonus or whatever it is you want to use live and I could drop in effects or instrument tracks so I'm going to drop a Mai Tai onto my Mai Tai um, software track here and for the aux track I'm going to come down to presonus again and I'm going to drop Empire onto here so as you can see We've now got a little bit of a band sort of scenario going on. We've got a synth, we've got a backing track, we've got a guitar. We can keep adding tracks. We could add a vocal track. Uh, we could build our own custom effects chains. That's what we're going to look at in the next video. So this hopefully has got you some idea of how you can get from song to show and you can get up and running with performing your tracks live and your full backing tracks here. So I hope that was useful and I'll see you in the next video.